there was this guy, this researcher, who was researching psychopaths. And what you see is a particular area of the brain is downregulated, so you don't see as much activity. When you see stuff like death or uh, images that would cause you to have empathy, he decides that he's going to study a bunch of psychopaths, many of whom I think are actually in prison. And then he needs a control group. So the control group is going to be, you're a professor, you've got students, use the students. I mean, he even used himself as one of the people. And he notices this person's got no activation when they're going through. And he goes, holy shit, this is the brain of a psychopath in the control group. I found a psychopath in here. I need to go and contact them. It turned out to be him. It turned out to be the professor himself. He discovered that he was a psychopath whilst doing a study on psychopaths. And then he said, actually, you know what? It all makes sense now. Because when people come round to my house, I think, who the fuck are all of these people in my house eating my food? Why are they here? They interviewed his kids. They asked his kids. And they said, what is it like? You know, is there anything unique about dad? And he said, well, yeah, dad, he didn't smile that much. And he's not very warm. And he's not very loving. This was a fully functioning guy. Wife, kids, career, didn't smile much. Wasn't happy when people ate his food, but like broadly fine. But he had essentially the same raw materials as the person that was murdering Joe.